In order to do that, you've got to strip away these things and try to take away the tension with your, in your upper body and just work with your stance. So ultimately, what we've been doing is this Gakuzuki Relax, Hoizuki. So within that Gakuzuki Relax, Hoizuki, there's a Maigiri. So Gakuzuki Relax, Hoizuki. One, two, three. So it's exactly the same technique. Right hand, right hand. Left hand, left hand. But we're doing right, right, right. Right, right, right. That's all we're doing. Understand? Yes. Yes. And then what we should try to do is mirror your partner's kind of line. Like you don't want to put your head towards your partner. You don't want to start like this, nor when you go forward, you don't want to go back like this. You want to try to try to feel or kind of have that make-believe connection, my hand then to his hand, and my head to his head. So when we go forward, everything is in unison, we're just going forward. And now, like you can see the stance, it's a lot more free. So I'm not worried, like I'm basically pivoting on the ball of my foot, landing and then back. I'm using that spring, spring, and back feeling. Completely relax without breaking that line. From Jukama, now. Then you have three choices. You're going to step forward, you want to noise with me? You're going to step forward, you want to noise with me? Or you're going to step forward, my game? That's all. Okay? I want you to do that with the cleanest intent. What I mean by that is that you don't. <laughs> I, I want you to just. Okay? That's my target. I'm going to do that. Okay, that's my target. I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. That's my target. That's what I'm going to do. You understand? Yes. Target side, you're not passive. What you're going to say is, ah, you know, before you moved, you did this. Oh, before you did the kick, that was your action. Before you, you did Jordan, you did that. <laughs> Something. All I want you to have the sense is that every time, that's what you do. That's what you do. Now, you have no idea what's going to come out. Every time, that's what you're going to do. Every time, that's what you're going to do. You understand? That's your movement. And at the end, it's going to be a weapon. All you're doing is getting used to that feeling. Feeling. Every time, the same. Every time, the same. Every time, the same. You understand? Control your centre. Be free in your movement. And at the end of it, what the weapon at the end. Is, is the defender to see what he's doing. So he's coming. Okay. Two down. Am I getting? Down, down. Go down. Yeah. Am I getting? Okay. Predicting what he's going to do. So every time he moves, he starts with micro movements, which are going to telegraph what he's going to do. Like for sure, my game is super easy. But even the difference between Jordan and Chunan, you can see. Just giving it. Like the one thing I don't want you to do is overthink this. You will understand on a subconscious level, and then just say, Jordan, Chunan, <laughs> Jordan, my game. Okay. So, like, <clears throat> sometimes it's like you're kind of cold reading. You know, and, and the more you kind of see someone, the more you'll just predict it more accurately. And it gets to the point where, you, oh yeah, oh yeah, I know what you do. Oh, I know what you do. But like, that's what we should just try. I want you to try, kind of, um, they're just going to step forward, they're going to punch Jordan, they're going to shoot him, they're going to kick my game. And like, for example, carry on. Okay, okay. For example, okay, go. So, My game is easy, right? Jordan. Sometimes you can, some, like, punch is a little bit more difficult because Jordan and is such a difference, but sometimes you can see it. Jordan. Sometimes you can see it, and the more you do it, you can, more you can see. Um, and so, like, you want to kind of maybe try to get to the point where you're kind of more than 50%. So, a lot of people, like, your, your intent is very clear. So when you attack, you're like this feeling, yeah? Yeah? You're kind of, you're, you're, you're in, your technique is intentful, like this feeling. You understand? I always kind of feel you're, empty, you're, you're emptying your intent. There, there is no intent. 
My intent's up there. <laughs> you understand? Rather than, rather than this thing, no intent. You understand? Like, this is about, I often think, when, like when I, when I kind of, especially when I'm in my own dojo and training with, with uh, my instructors, uh, like when I'm doing Kumite, like, I almost surprise myself when I attack. I don't go, right, I'm going to go now. Because even if I think it, something will show. Do you understand? Don't have intent. Feel like you're empty. There's no intent. Even though I'm looking, there's no intent. Do <laughs> you understand? Rather than like this thing. You can see the difference. Do you understand? So I want you to just try. Try kind of show, not showing it, try thinking it. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think, I'm going to attack now. It's there. Rather than, I don't know, what surprise. Like the first part of the class was just kind of moving freely. Because what we want to do is we want to, we want to control that attention. And if, if the attention can take over your body, so like I'm going to punch Jordan, and if, if you're used to breaking your line, and that's what's going to happen, for sure that's what's going to come out, right? So first it's about just controlling your line. Once you manage to control your line without, without anything else being influenced, then you can just have kind of, Kind of, you're, you're less telegraphing, you're controlling your attention a little bit. But ultimately, that intention is really strong. Like Funa Consciousness said, you know, spirit first, technique second. And a lot of people think about that as kind of like a gung ho spirit, fighting spirit. But actually, it's, that's not what it, well, the kanji's not that. It's, it's about just your inner spirit. And you can read from that, like intention. Intention first. Intention first, technique afterwards. My intention is there, my technique goes afterwards. So, you know, like, like I mentioned, you know, uh, Jonathan uh, Livingston Siegel, you know, perfect speed is being there. My intention is there. My intention is there. My speed is there. Rather than your need, your want, your anxiety, your stress about being there, which is going to slow you down. You know, even from this neutral position, if I decide, okay, I'm going to decide that I'm going to do my again. Already, like subtle movements, I mean, like, I can exaggerate a little bit, but subtle movements of, Oh, I'm going to keep my game. So I move with my game and do something else. You know, I think, okay, I'm going to punch, I'm going to punch Chuna. Even like where I'm looking, okay, I'm going to punch Chuna, I'm going to punch Chuna, I do something else. You understand? Yes. And you kind of try, I was talking about this yesterday, but try to, try to surprise yourself. Like for sure, if, you're, if you surprise yourself, oh, I was, I was thinking John Rogozuki, but then my game came out. Oh, well, that was a surprise. But if it surprises you, for sure it's going to surprise them. I change your intent. Um, so uh, what I want you to do, I want you to start off by just keep, kind of kicking my game. Get the feeling of, of that is my intent. I want you to kind of really feel that intent. My, my game is, is, is that. And then I'm doing my game. And then halfway through, change your intent. So you're doing my game, you're doing my game, you change and come around and watch it. That feeling. You change. He's, he's, I can see him doing that, then I change. Because is he's reacting to it, he's reacting to it. So first of all, get that feeling. Get that feeling. Once you've got that feeling in grain, say big change for washing it. And all you're doing is you're not doing oh, my washing it. That's not what you're doing. Mm. Your intent, your tandem, your second brain, and there's a hundred thousand neurons in your gut. That's what's deciding. It's not this, selling what you lose, it's that second break. I am projecting my weight. I'm just saying to, well, I was just saying to say it's pupil actually, but just saying, like, attacking, attacking should be, in, on a really high level, attacking is, is reactive. Like, you okay? <laughs> Ready for the beach? It's too early, it's too uh, a, a lot of people proactively attack. Okay, I'm going to attack Jordan now. And they already, I'm going, I'm going to attack. But really good kind of fighters, they attack reactively. They just move forward. They have no idea what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. They move forward, they see an opening, boom, they, they, they throw a limb out. They are reacting to the situation. So, like, you know, you can't think of anything more proactive than attacking someone. But actually, like, and I'm not really talking about competition karate, although 
that's what you see at the highest level. Um, but a lot of good fighters are attacking reactively. They are continually adapting to that situation. Why well, do kind of this time have that Morgieri finish? Morgieri. So you're coming completely round. Have that feeling. Come round to my game. One, one, this way. So you're changing your intent. You're changing your intent.